Hey, Two Sheds Gabby. Uh, interesting little thing happened to me. I went into a bank um, uh, about two weeks ago and asked if they had half dollars and they had, I think, five rolls or something like that sealed. She was come back next week and we'll have more. I thought that meant she was going to order a box because I've got several boxes of half dollars here before. So I went in a few days ago and said, hey, do y'all happen to have any half dollars? And they went back and looked in. Three rolls of um, two sealed, one customer. And then one of the tellers had like $8.50 worth of loose. No silver in any of it or anything like that. But one of the guys said, do you ever get anything? And I said, well, I occasionally get silver. Not like I used to, but every now and then. I said, I still get proofs every now and then. And commemoratives and if I'm really lucky I get something foreign and just chatting you know and and he kind of looked I guess when I said foreign it, it perked something because he was starting to say something about this what I'm about to show you and then the young lady that had the eight dollars and fifty cents a lose coin said that a customer had given her a jar of coins and I thought the way they said it that it meant it was all foreign this is the jar right here, and this is the exact coins that was in it. And he poured them out, and I'm like, oh, that is so cool. And some of them are foreign. One of them especially I want to show you. And But there's buffalo nickels and um, Canadian pennies, a few wheat pennies and things. And uh, I found a dime. There was a silver dime in there. And I said, can I buy it from you? And she's like, I don't know how I could do that. I don't know exactly what she meant. I guess being a teller, she wasn't sure if she was allowed to. I don't know. But anyway, it's just out of the blue. Um, she said, well, I, I don't really need them. You can have them. I'm like, no way. <laughs> that is so close. I'm really? And uh, she, they're like, yeah. I said, do you guys eat donuts? I'll bring a dozen donuts. And they're like, yeah, we like donuts. And then there's another guy that said, I wonder if you should look and see if anything's worth anything before you sell it for a box of donuts. <laughs> And I said, look, if there's something of real value in there, I'll I'll bring you, so I'll, I'll reward you for it. And she's like, okay, whatever, I'm, that's cool. But So that one coin that's in here, let me, I'm just going to turn it off and pour them out and show you what all I've got. It's really cool. All right, so here they are. There's a neat foreign one right there. One pound. That's really cool. Mm, please don't do that. There we go. That is neat. And it's got lettering on the side. That's a cool coin there. But that's not the one I'm talking about. Uh, see, wheat pennies and buffalo nickels. There's about 32 buffalo nickels. Only two of them could you read the date. And they were pretty old, like 20s. But, you know, buffalo nickels are just such cool coins anyway. But I'll, I'll find the ones that have the date on them here in a minute. But you just got to see this one coin. I believe the dime was like 63 or 64, something like that. Oh, yeah, and then there's this. Those are always cool. 1944. From England. Britain. Let me find the one. There it is. This one is just amazing. Look at that. It's grease. 83% silver. It's such a cool coin. I looked it up on eBay, and people was asking crazy amounts of money for it, but none of them sold. So you can't go by any of those because none of them sold. So, you know, the sale price is really what the value of it is. And then I found one on another site where they were asking 70 but even that, I don't know if it sold, you know. Uh, but I think that's getting closer. I finally did find a few of them for sale uh, that sold on eBay. Between $15 and $50 each. I'm not going to sell this coin. It's just too cool. This will just go into part of my silver 
collection. Oh, I just can't get over how neat it is. Never seen anything quite like it. And then the dime. So anyway, my quest, if y'all are aware, is 100 silver coins in 2024. Where's the dime? It's in there somewhere. There it is. Sorry about the hand. Uh, 63. So there's two more silver coins. I think I'll have to check, but I think that puts me at 19 for the year. So I'm slowly getting there. We're middle of March and we're at 19. My goal is 100. So I, I don't think I'm far off. Anyway, I just, you just had to see that. That's just nothing but cool. I'll, uh, I'll turn off and then go through and find the two buffalo coins. Oh, there's a, another Canadian. Two thousand. Oh, Caribbean states. Pretty cool. Let me turn off and find the two buffalo that are dated. Okay, here's everything. All those buffalo nickels, but none of those have dates, but these two do. There's a 1929 and a 1934. Handful of wheat pennies over here. Most of them are like, you know, the 40s and 50s, but there is a 1914. Pretty worn. That's pretty cool. A couple of other foreign coins. Several uh, Canadian pennies and a couple of other Canadian coins. And then there's a... Washington Quarter. I don't know exactly why it was. It's not a W or anything. I don't know if it means anything. Sometimes they just don't want to come in. There you go. So I don't know if there's a particular reason for that to be in there, but it was. Anyway, I'm just so excited to find, to get all of these, especially that one coin. I'd never seen anything like it before. And so I am totally excited about this uh, group of coins. It was so fun to get and she was so nice. Uh, all of them there at the branch are totally cool. I go in there looking for half dollars. They're always willing to go look and check their drawers and stuff. They're, sometimes you go in and you can just tell they just want you out of there. You know, you got any half dollars? No. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for not looking. <laughs> oh, well, that's the way it is in places. But anyway, if any of you from that bank happens to watch this video, you guys are great. Thank you so much, and uh, I'll get these uh, donuts to you here next few days. <laughs> All right, that's it. Uh, see you next time. Oh, here in the next day or two, I got another box of pennies to go through, so we'll get into that one here in a day or so.